All right, so uh, I filmed this um, axle uh, series here or episode over several days. So, and uh, in the meantime, so now we got. Let us just cover this. Rear differentials all put together, just like the front. Um, front differential, like we covered before. But in the meantime, um, I got some parts in. So, so let's go and take a look at what we're going to do for an upgrade. Um, I got this, uh, what do they call it, the uh, aluminum heavy duty upgrade combo set from Yay Racing. And uh, what she's going to do is uh, replace these lockouts on each end. It's going to replace uh, this brace on each of these for the links. And we're going to have new uh, knuckles and C-hubs. So uh, we'll get those all installed and uh, it should be a lot stronger. Alright, so here's all the, the parts all laid out. Um, these, uh, like I said before, these are from Yay Racing. Um, this is a kit, um, and we call it the. Uh, whoop! It's an upgrade kit, all aluminum, aluminum heavy duty upgrade combo set. Right. Um, so what this what this here is going to do is it's going to add a little bit more weight than the plastic right um, and it's going to keep that weight down low so when it comes to crawling um, there will be a, a whole lot more uh, weight to the ground where it needs to be okay so I have the rear axle apart um, I took the truss off I took uh, the lockouts right here off and I can tell you right now, the weight difference between the two of them is uh, a tremendous between uh, this silver one right here, uh, you know, from this uh, plastic one. Um, a tremendous weight difference. Now, a tremendous weight difference, what I mean by that is uh, not that it's like lead, but um, there's definitely um, a difference in weight. Okay, so the first thing we'll do. Let's go ahead and we'll put our bearings in. One lock it, one, one lock out on uh, the bearing for the other one. I'm going right here, and I'm, I'm seeing that the bolts that hold these right here keep the axle from coming out too far. So we'll just say that that is it. Alright, so now we have the other lockout on. And we got both lockouts on. And the screws to hold them in. Now those are in. <clears throat> and we'll take our uh, other hex. And our other pin. Put the pin on. X and will you uh, we'll just put it in our set screw or grub screw whatever you want to call it all 
All right. Pop that bearing back down in there. Let's see how it rolls. Looks like it rolls pretty good to me. My gosh, it's almost like a vanquish. Okay, not quite. All right, so <clears throat> we've got our truss needs to go on. And it goes like that. Put the screws back down. It's kind of reverse. Only thing we're doing different is we're putting this aluminum piece on versus the, uh, the plastic. Yeah, they're dropping stuff. All right, there you are. All right, so let's go ahead and do the truss first. Is on this one. That's going to be the, the one of the easiest parts be the truss. Take the servo plate off. It's going to be transferred over anyway, so... plates off okay well oh, truss is in place so I got one side off and um, one thing I wanted to cover with y'all is that to pay attention to the orientation of this uh, C-Hub. Okay, you notice how the top right here is longer than the bottom? That's on your new one, that's the way it needs to be as well. Okay, so I'll go ahead and oh, pull that off and <clears throat> You need to make sure that the top and on there looks like it is. It's longer. Okay. And then the next thing that I need to do is pay attention to where the screw was on the other one so I can get this about right. So Kind of like that. All right. So then we'll just take and I'll put one of the screws in. Now these housings are splined, like I said, so they need to be. There's only like one way they can go, or not one way, but there's several ways they can go. But uh, it's important, um, at least at first, until you want to dial it in the way you want to, to um, Put everything back the way it was because with, with every spline you can change the angle of the uh, uh, camber so you can change it and it'll like shift things and move the camber in and out whatever so all right okay so we got this on and now we're just gonna go ahead and put some bearings in Pop the bearings out of the old ones. I probably shouldn't have done that at first, but I did. Too late. Been there, done that. 
all right and these bearings fit in here really nice I'm really impressed with the machinery on this I'm machining I mean all right so there you are okay so <clears throat> and this goes kind of like that in the kit you get new uh, hat bushings call them hat bushings because they look kind of like a top hat you know so all right so we'll put those in the knuckle there's four of them one on the bottom one on the top and be careful they will fall out If we have a problem with them falling out, then you may want to go and uh, put like a little dab of grease in there. Looks like my bearing fell out. All right, there we go. All right, I'm gonna pop this axle back in. The spindle in. And we can put the screws in. The kit also gives you new screws for the spindles. Before I go and tighten everything down, let's just take a look and make sure we're about right. And it looks like we're not. All right, so if you take a look at this, you can see the angle up, changing the camber all together. So the new ones versus the old ones, looks like we need to reverse them. So we'll just pull that, flip it, go like that. All right. Looks like one of my head bushings fell out. This is where the grease part would come in, but I'm kind of determined to get this in without it. Alright, 
Okay. One screw started. Let's get this other one started. Now let's take a look at it. So what I'm seeing right now is that this axle is now sticking straight out where it was before um, at an angle and that's what I wanted. Okay so we'll just tighten this down. All right so here you are two completely rebuilt uh, Wraith axles um, feeling a lot smoother now than they were before um, the rear, for some reason, I don't know why, maybe it's just the way it is, it's just a little bit stiffer. Uh, hopefully it'll break in. The front is nice and smooth, um, <clears throat> complete with uh, Yay Racing upgraded um, C-Hub, spindle, um, lockouts, uh, or, um, sorry, um, hexes, uh, new lockouts on the rear, uh, new trusses. Um, the next thing up will be uh, the new links for the underside. These are all by Hot Racing as well. Um, <clears throat> these are going to add some low weight to the vehicle and provide a lot of strength. So, if anyone's um, thinking about doing these, the, um, just pay a close orientation to the way the C hubs are versus the spindle. Because um, otherwise you'll end up with uh, uh, the drag link for your uh, your center link uh, being too low. So you want to make sure to get that in the right spot and make sure these are flipped the right way. Otherwise your uh, camber will be completely off, right? <clears throat> um, as of right as it is right now, I, I believe I got it all figured out. So um, anyway. Uh, anybody who's going to do this, uh, just pay close attention to that. Um, this is why I'm doing this channel, um, so I can learn and um, you can learn with me and uh, and have a good time. All right. So I know a lot of this I did off camera, and this is going to be a long video, but uh, I figure since all the parts came in, I might as well just put it all in one. So uh, next up will be uh, the transmission. Um, putting the original Wraith transmission back in um, with all steel gears so uh, that stuff should be here like some in a few days so um, once that shows up uh, we'll go through the transmission um, I'll most likely skip the cleaning part and do that uh, off camera um, just get into the, the whole uh, rebuild part uh, make sure to give me a like click uh, subscribe I, there's gonna be more um, this is one of those things uh, uh, it's actually become part of my hobby so uh, filming what I do and um, actually I'm, I'm having a really good time answering uh, questions on Facebook um, you can find me at RC Mechanic on Facebook so um, if you don't get enough of this uh, you can go there um, I will uh, I will respond to you um, I will respond to uh, any YouTube uh, messages so um, anyone has any questions on anything uh, my thoughts on things uh, just let me know um, I'm not selling any parts sorry um, all the parts that I have extra I keep um, and I keep it for a reason um, one reason being and the most important is that um, there is will be a time when I will need it so I don't get rid of anything um, anyway I hope you had a great time. Um, I hope you come back. Um, thank you. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.